Now in this video, we will discuss about static storage class. We have already discussed about auto and extern and we have noticed the difference between them. So basically those were on the base of the local variables. Here in C programming, whenever we define any global variable, it will be having a static storage class by default. But that will not make any difference in the basic implementation. But if I will make a static storage class for a local variable, then definitely it is going to affect the implementation. As we know, like whenever we create a local variable, it will be allocated the memory when you call the method and as soon as the method execution is over, it will be out of the memory. But if I will decorate any local variable with static keyword, that is static storage class, it will be in the memory even if the method is executed. That means once this variable is allocated into the memory, it will still be there whether the method is there in the memory or not. So till the termination of the complete program, this static will be in the memory and that will definitely cause us some differences in the execution. So let's execute this particular program practically and see what all changes we are getting with static storage class on a local variable. Now here in the implementation of static storage class in the func one you can see like I have defined the variable int i which is of static type and the value is 5. The very same thing I have done in the func2 but the only difference between these two methods is like here i is non-static that is by default auto while here it is a static. So whenever I call this particular method func1 the complete method will be loaded every time in the stack and this instance of i will be reused. That means since it is a static at the termination of program of the, at the termination of method from the call stack will not let i to leave the space means since it is static it will still be in the memory even if the uh, method is unloaded from the call stack so what will happen if i will call this particular method count for the five times that means i started with five and every time i'm uh, just decrementing it with minus one means it will be decremented till it is zero once it is zero while loop will be terminated because zero will be treated as the uh, false value now here I'm calling this func for the five times and every time when this function will be called the same instance of I will be used which was defined at the first time but here every time this I will be redefined in the memory and will be initialized with a value five Alright, so if I'll execute, you can observe like this particular first function is incrementing the value of i every time because the same instance is used at the first call, the value of i become 6 from 5, but method got terminated, but i is still in the memory. So next time when I'll call func, it will start from 6 itself, it will not reset to 5. So that's why you can see 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But in this func2 case, the memory, the value will be reinitialized every time because a new instance will be created along with the new function call. So every time when it will, uh, you will call it, you can see the i will be restarting from 5 and it will be incremented one by 1. It will become 6 and will get printed. So this is how you can differentiate between auto and static storage class and you can plan accordingly how to work with the static storage class as well.